This is in Denizen. We need to convert all of this entire map, all of the data that we have on the map to mine stone. Okay, so each of these blocks, they have tile data, which is how we know to break blocks like this. We have to convert that data that we're storing because right now I believe it's being stored in chunk data. So we have to figure out how it's being stored in chunk data and then convert it to a readable format in mine stone. So let's do that. No way. It's a giant string. Just one line of block data. Bro, I have to parse all of this. What extension should I use? Search for an end nbt1 nbt extensions let's see nbt viewer whoa what the that's kind of fire actually you can see the build in vs code r dot negative 1.0 mca this is it boom let's take a look at this oh it's here it's here that is in flag tracker all the data is in this bitch we found it boys so do we have to reverse engineer how to decode this byte data oh no surely oh shit time to look at the denizen source code holy shit i'm gonna put my heck hacker man glasses on research mode baby echo error the flag tag must have an input attributes dot get parameter get flag value okay so it's in get flag value you should try to convert the byte array to a string first just to see if it's a string and they just actually encode it you're right you're right it could be just a string because they do like storing data as strings so we have to read it as a string and then parse it in a way so we can get all the values so we basically have to reverse engineer how denizen reads map data it's pretty simple no it's not oh I'll just write a scuffed parser. This is gonna be so scuffed. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna work on the world importer. I think off stream, I'm gonna tomorrow work with Cosmic and figure out how to exactly parse it. And then on stream, we're gonna make it work, hopefully.